Hi, my name's Tom Dick. I'm a math professor and also a math advisor for Texas Instruments. This video is part of the TI in Focus AP Calculus series. We're going to be using the TI-84 and we're going to use it to graph Maclaurin polynomials, a topic on the BC examinations for AP. Let's get started. I'm going to go to the Y equals menu and I'm going to enter a function that appeared in question 6 on the 2018 BC exam. That function was the natural log of 1 plus x. Now once we've entered that I'm going to enter a couple of polynomials. In the problem students were provided the Maclaurin series for this function. What we're going to do is take the third degree and the fourth degree polynomials that can be found by truncating that series at the appropriate term. So the third degree Maclaurin polynomial would be x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3. A Maclaurin polynomial is really just a special Taylor polynomial. It's a Taylor polynomial uh, uh, expanded around the point x equals 0. Now to get our fourth degree, notice what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and use y2, that's our third degree Maclaurin polynomial, and just add on an additional term. The next term is minus x to the fourth over 4. So we now have entered the original function, natural log of the quantity 1 plus x, and the third and fourth degree Maclaurin polynomials respectively. Let's graph these in a zoom decimal window and see what we get. All right, there's three graphs. Uh, can we tell them apart? Well, we might want to do a trace. Okay, the blue graph is our original function, natural log 1 plus x. Now I'm tracing to the left all the way over to x equals negative 1. And notice that the function's undefined there at negative 1. That's because we would be taking the natural log of 0, which is undefined. Now I'm going to trace to positive x's. And you notice that as we get to the right of x equal 1, the two Maclaurin polynomials no longer fit the curve very well. Uh, they're starting to diverge away from the curve. So the, not surprisingly, the radius of convergence for this particular function is only one. Okay, now I'm going to deselect these functions and move on to the next function that we're asked to consider in this AP problem. So again, this is BC number six from 2018. And we're asked to consider a function that is obtained from our original function with some algebraic manipulation. We're gonna take x times the natural log of one plus x over three, that quantity. Okay, so y4 will enter this new function, and we're asked to compare it to the fourth degree polynomial, Taylor polynomial, about x equals zero, which would be a Maclaurin polynomial. Now for a fourth degree, notice we've multiplied by x. If I multiply the third degree Taylor polynomial, by x, we would get a fourth degree. And I'm going to compose that with x over 3. So we'll take y, x times the y2 that we had before, and it will be y2 of x over 3. And that should give us the fourth degree Maclaurin polynomial for this new function. And just for a uh, comparison. Let's take a look at the graphs. Okay, now the kind of purplish graph here 
is our, our new original function, x times natural log of 1 plus x over 3. And the green function is our fourth degree Maclaurin polynomial. Now I'm going to trace over to a point of interest, which is x equals 2. All right. And we can see that the value of our fourth degree polynomial is about 1.086. We can see that it's above the value of the original function, which is around 1.021. Now, the analysis that was asked for in this problem had to do with alternating series. and want to get some insight by why that would come into play. Now, what I want to do is actually look at the next higher degree Maclaurin polynomial for this function. So I'm just going to take x times y3 of x over 3. Uh, y3 was a fourth degree Taylor polynomial for our original function, but composing with x over 3 and multiplying by x will give us a fifth degree. And notice that at 2, this next higher degree is now below the function graph of our original. And that's because our terms in our Maclaurin series, the coefficients are alternating in sign. And so for positive x, we're ending up with, for any specific positive value x, an alternating series. And that's why the alternating series test comes into play. All right, well, that does it for this video. For more resources like these, please see education.ti.com.